artificial intelligence has flooded us in every aspect of day-to-day -day life. It's something that we need to deal with. It has been come as a frightening aspect for many doctors that because they think they will be replaced by the computer to do many things, so they are afraid of that. Although they are curious about what can be done with artificial intelligence. In fact, artificial intelligence is exactly what the name states, is the computer can do certain tasks uh, better or identical as our brain does. So it replaces our way of thinking, usually in something that can be repeated. So, for instance, if you have to categorize uh, shirts or trousers, it's easily done by a computer and it doesn't take your time to do that. So there are many things that can be done in medicine like that. We have several aspects that can be done in medicine, but applied to surgery, we have several new things that use both artificial intelligence and also what we call augmented reality and virtual reality. Everybody knows about the headsets of Google Glasses and Microsoft Glasses that permit you, allow you to, view, to, to have a complete view uh, and different view of the world made of an imaginary world. And you have the augmented reality that you can recall um, with a Pokemon Go game, for instance. You have your phone, you have the, the, the street that you are walking on, and then you see a little monster popping up. And this is called augmented reality. We can use this to see better our field of surgery. Meaning, if I want to see a tumor on the breast of a patient, I can use the imaging that the patient has before going to surgery and put a clip on the tumor and then go to surgery and then take the tumor, have an X-ray of the, the piece of breast that I have, confirm that the clip is there and then wait for the rest. But what would happen if I could have and see the patient lie on the table and can see the tumor inside the breast of the patient? How can we do this with augmented reality? So we can use the images of the patient and using several Microsoft cameras on the OR transform our patient in an avatar with a tumor inside and then we can operate on the on the patient and this is something that we are working on for a long time and it's it's uh, it's very enthusiastic for all people because not only it allows you to see the tumor better but it allows you to operate on the patient without having a new biopsy putting the clip on going that and going having false negatives so it's a very, very um, impressive area for the future of breast surgery. The other thing that we are doing, and um, I'm talking about this, is called the Cinderella trial that is going to start this year in June, is using artificial intelligence to um, show the patients how they will be after surgery. Okay, so we have a problem. 30% of our patients have low expectations regarding the result of surgery. So they know that they are going to have a mastectomy or a breast conservation, but the result is something they don't understand very well. Nowadays, we have several options, and sometimes we ask the patient to choose, which is very difficult because they don't understand the things. So we give leaflets, we show videos, but we have a form of showing the patient in a more realistic way using artificial intelligence and virtual reality how she will become. So we have a very large repository of images of women that have pre been previously treated with, with surgery of the breast, so mastectomy, breast conservation, etc. And in this trial, we are going to include patients that are going to be submitted to breast surgery. We take a photograph and with this photograph and using artificial intelligence and deep machine learning, we're going to search a database for the best matched picture for the result of this surgery the woman is going to have. If we don't find the picture because race, because uh, height, because whatever, 
we have something that is called torso morphometry. And we can change the image to adapt to this result. And the patient can look at the results and see what pleases her better. She can discuss with the family and our aim is to compare this with the conventional approach and see if doing this way we can match better the expectations before and after. So this is called the Cinderella trial and is, is a very, uh, is very something that we are really looking for the results to see how it's going to work. Another thing that we are uh, going and uh, through also is transforming the way to teach about surgery. And we use avatars of our doctors and we use virtual reality rooms to show students and young surgeons how to perform a certain surgery. So usually we do this by real training or uh, workshops or real-time videos of surgeries and with this setting we can prepare the videos and do this with avatars and real video times of surgery to show and demonstrate the cases. So there are so many uses in surgery and I think this is going to be the future whether you want it or not. Thank <laughs> you.